greetings to you, the viewer. In our literature class today, we will be discussing and analyzing the novel titled Second Class Citizen by Buchi Emechita. Uh, this novel was written by a lady, a Nigerian lady called Buchi Emechita. And um, I want you to listen carefully as we will be discussing the novel properly. So who is Bochi Emejita? Let's have a little view about uh, Bochi Emejita. Bochi Emejita is a Nigerian. She married and uh, had challenges in her marriage. Um, from the screen you can see her full name is Florence Onye Bochi Emejita and she died in 2017 she was born in 1944 was a nigerian born a novelist and she was she comes from a place called ibuza in the southeast nigeria and we are going to be discussing this novel second class citizen but you have wrote other novels like uh, uh, the new tribe joys of the motherhood and several other plays so today we'll be looking at the this novel now and um, we'll be looking at the plot of the play of the novel sorry the plot of the novel at the beginning of the novel what happened a die is just a child from a Musa living in lagos state and um, she dream as a young girl to go to United Kingdom, though her father doesn't have such means because her father is just an average, um, let me say, second class Nigerian citizen and does not have the means to sponsor her to school. In fact, her father do not even mind sponsoring a female child to school. They were more concerned about sponsoring the male child uh, to school. So in Nigeria, especially in traditional society, in the, let me say, in the 20th century, it is common among traditionals, traditionalists or people living in the rural area not to sponsor female a child to school, especially when they do not have the financial means to cater for both the male and the female child in schooling. So, Buchi was one of those girls that fall victim of uh, trying to work for her brothers to go to school and she was not so concerned the parents were not so concerned about her own study and looking at it this is the paragraph of the second uh, of the plot uh, second paragraph of the plot summary so she tried to go to school uh later got to school and she got uh, a scholarship after her primary education and uh, she was admitted uh, finished her secondary school and no she got married to a man called Francis and Francis also traveled to United Kingdom to pursue her study in law and Ada convinces her family, her husband family that she want to go to United Kingdom but the husband mother that is the mother-in-law when was not so comfortable with that because Ada was providing for them at home Ada was working in library in Lagos and the proceed from her job was not going to her family rather she was using it to sponsor her husband's family members two of the girls were going to school at the expense of Ada's uh, uh, financial means so all those were not part of the appreciation. They were not appreciating Ada for doing that. And Ada was so uncomfortable with the arrangement of the family where she was being turned to a cash cow, sponsoring the children to school, feeding the mother-in-law and the father-in-law. And, um, you know, Francis, who was even abroad studying, was not academically buoyant. Uh, she, does, she was not financially buoyant. And at the same time, she was uh, he was not sound academically. So Francis, whom she was obliged to marry to escape her family, turns out to be a loafer. Now, Francis was just uh, depending on her dance means. And then when she married Francis, 
the salary of Francis is just like 10% uh, of Ada's salary per month. So Ada was the one feeding her, feeding uh, Francis' family. So at her worst moment, Ada encountered a fellow, Ibo, who advised her by their tribe laws to beseech her husband for forgiveness. So uh, her story is harsh on um, self pity. And even though the appearance of this has second nowhere, it's an indication of her resourcefulness. So Ada was really, really sad at the beginning. And when Ada traveled to United Kingdom, what really happened? Ada traveled and he met Francis in a very old, dilapidated house. A house that is for the second class citizens only. A house that is meant for the blacks. So Ada was so uncomfortable and Ada struggled to get a better accommodation for her, her children and her husband. And even while they were in the United Kingdom, Francis failed the, uh, the law examination three times. And Ada was the one paying for the examination. Ada was the one paying the examination fee. So at a point, Ada was so angry, Ada was so frustrated that even Francis doesn't want Ada to work in the United Kingdom, but Ada secured a work with a, a, libra with a library there and uh, was working. And also, briefly, let's look at the setting of the play. No, the play have many temporal settings. It is started from Lagos in Nigeria here, and then in the United Kingdom. And then the story is set, set seven to eight years after the World War II. I know it is narrated in Nigeria. The plot of the story moved from Nigeria to England following the development process of the protagonist, Ada. That is when Ada uh, traveled to the United Kingdom. And we will be discussing the characters, the character of Ada, the character of uh, Francis, the Ada's mother-in-law, father-in-law, Ada's brother, Ada's father, Ada's mother, we are going to be discussing all the characters in the play, even the teacher who helped Ada. All of them are going to be discussing there. This is just a short, brief summary of the plot. So subscribe to this channel so that you can get updated when we'll be discussing, when the video on character analysis will be uploaded. Make sure you subscribe and also try as much as possible to click the notification bell so that you can get notified anytime another video is uploaded. For your personal evaluation, you can look at this assignment. What are those referred to? Who, who are those referred to as second class citizen in the novel? Discuss in detail. This is a self-evaluation assignment where you evaluate yourself on what you have learned so far from the video and what you have read from the slide shown on the screen. So in a subsequent video, I will be discussing in detail the characters and characterization, the themes in the novel, and also the major lessons and significant incidents in the novel. Thank you and make sure you subscribe.